today is Saturday and I'm back with a video because today me and my best friend Lottie are going back to Manchester for where I was project tonight is chasing status that's why I've got my cool braids in I need to sort of fix a little bit because I've slept in them so yeah today is chasing status day <clears throat> I'm so excited I've not been to where I was project since I was in uni um I used to love it so it'll be sick to go back. Um, <clears throat> it's going to be a really funny day because she's driving us down. So we're going to have a little bit of a road trip. Um, we're staying in this hotel, that, which was really cheap. It's in Didsbury, so it's like four mile out of the centre. But it was like 50 quid. So yeah, we're staying there. And then, yeah, we're going to go and rave our little hearts out at Jason Status. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna vlog. I'm gonna vlog my whole day. I'm gonna vlog our little road trip. I'm gonna vlog us getting ready. You'll get to see my outfit and I'll try and vlog some of where I was even though I know it's gonna be properly shit quality because it's really dark and obviously it's like underground so you probably won't see that much but I will film some of it because it'll be funny. And obviously like levels are playing and I fucking love levels. I've seen them four times. And yeah, I just, it's going to be so good, so nostalgic, so like, I just need it because I'm going to do a little life update. I may as well do it now. Um, the reason I've not been, I'll just sit down a minute. This is going to be a really long video, I think, but it's long awaited. So I'll just sit down and update you on some stuff. So basically, um, my life has been absolutely manic um since i got back off holiday so basically i if you don't know well you probably do know if you don't know i work in retail i work at h&m and i've been wanting to progress for about a year um or it's been a year sorry oh god it's been a year since i went and got assessed and said that yes like you're ready you can progress and the past few months have been made like crazy because there's been a lot of movement in the area and a lot of stuff has been coming up, which has mean I've had a lot of interviews and a lot of preparation to do, a lot of stress, a lot of like drama and like unnecessary shit has gone on. Um, but I finally got myself a good job. Well, I finally got myself um, a visual position, which, I need to go do four weeks of training at Meadowall and then after that I'll go straight to Cottonwood in Barnsley to be a full-time visual. Um, I'm buzzing, I'm so excited, I can't wait. I've been waiting for so long, so I'm so ready to just go. Um, obviously I'm going to be really sad to leave my store because we're all really close and we're all really good mates. So that'll be hard, but I'm so ready to just move on to the next chapter in my life. So that's why I've been so vacant because I've had that much stress. I've had about five interviews. Um, yeah, it's just been crazy and I've not had time for myself. Well, I've not had time to do this side of myself. <laughs> that makes no sense, it sounds vile. I've not had time to create things alongside my life because my life has just been that mad that there's just no, there's not been a chance. But now, Shit is on the up. I've got some cool stuff coming up. Obviously, I've got this this weekend, today. So, yeah, I'm going to film. I'm going to take you with me. And here's to me getting back into creating content again. Okay, I'll see you in a minute. So, this is my travel outfit. I'm wearing these crazy... They're actually chef trousers, to be honest. Um, My chunky boots, because I can't be asked to, like, wear other shoes when I'm wearing these tonight. Um, so yeah, this is my vibe for travelling. So excited. Friday then, little update. It is now, oh, half one. Um, Lottie's on her way and I'm all ready to go. Uh, you've seen my travel outfit, I've already shown you. I've got my bags ready. I'm just waiting for her to pick me up. She was just having a dinner and then coming to get me. And then, like I said, town for alcohol. And then we'll get going on the old road trip. I'm dead excited. I'm ready, like, to just have a fucking mint time and party, party on. Party on, Wayne! <laughs> I'm absolutely manic today, though, like, because I'm so excited. I'm just losing it. I'm losing my cool. And I can't wait. 
and I'm gonna go now. So, oh, I'm so excited. Got to update the blog. Lottie is currently trying to get into a <laughs> what fuel in the car. I'm eating Taco Bell because <laughs> we're about to set off on the motorway for Manchester. We just went and got pre drinks. Well, yeah, pre drinks. Trying to update you while I'm eating. We had loads to do in town, that's why I haven't vlogged. Have we got in yet, Lottie? No, I haven't. You're gonna have to help me. Oh my god, okay. I've still got my seatbelt on. One sec. There's a random person helping her. This is hilarious. Oh yeah. We'll be on our way soon. Are we sorted? We're sorted. This lovely lady next door did it for me. Next door. <laughs> next door, yeah? <laughs> right, yeah, so we're about to set off. I'm just trying to eat my cheesy fries while updating you. Yeah. There's a lake. <laughs> this this is the hotel. We're gonna die. <laughs> We're gonna die. Oh, no. Why do they never look the same as on the? <laughs> You're fine. Come on. <laughs> oh shit! Can you not? Is there not another way? <laughs> no, you're not gonna put your boots on. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, you know. Bates Motel. We're gonna die. They lied to us, Lottie. Welcome to season, what are we on? Nine of American <laughs> 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 Fucking murder house, that's where we are. The murder house. Dun dun dun! <laughs> Go on, lass. You've got your boots on. <laughs> yes! The crowd goes wild. <laughs> oh, we're gonna die. <laughs> okay, so we got in the hotel and fuck me. Thirty pounds. Thirty pounds. We've got two double beds. Well, thirty pounds each. And uh. Can you believe it? Can you believe? I'm actually kind of shocked to be fair. Time to get ready. He's got a premium shit over here. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, girl. Oh, flex. Flex. <laughs> this hotel is mad weird, but in a good way. So weird. Hi. You need to explain to me what the, what the dog is about. Where's the dog gone? <laughs> Give me the dog. So, <laughs> I can't even explain this. Loi bought some boots and they've got red and black laces, red and white, I, I'm colourblind, and her outfit is all orange, so she, she's bought this to cut up <laughs> into, <laughs> into laces to put in the shoes. Look at that little boy's face. I can't see this going well at all. On a bike. No scissors, eh? Who needs scissors? Who needs scissors? Scissors are overrated. I mean, apparently they are. <laughs> apparently so. I could live in a dun, 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 dun. I don't need your shit. I don't, I don't need, need you, bitch. Me. I don't need you. I don't need you dragging me down. <laughs> you won't pull you'll you'll jingle. I won't lose you if you wear that. Oh, that'd be cute. In the crowd. I just think you're jingling about. Go on. <laughs> My mum this morning said I look like a flower because it was so bright. Oh, oh, go on. No idea. <laughs> <laughs> Not the creepiest hotel ever. We're in The Shining. Where's our... What are we? 
What are we? Shit, what number are we? Because this doesn't say. Oh no, we're 100 and... <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not, we're two something, but it doesn't say. I remember seeing it on the sign. And being like, well, that's stupid because we're even on the sign. Date in the blog, we are still at the hotel. <laughs> Lottie's had a disaster with her uh, eyelashes. <laughs> so that. we're just not going with it now. And now she's trying to do a false nails. Um, yeah. Crazy times. I will vlog when we are there because right now this is a little bit boring. And yeah. Okay. to update this vlog um we are back at the hotel now <laughs> about to die <laughs> that's it <laughs> aloha amigos it is the next day and i just wanted to hop on here to like um officially sign off the vlog and just say like 
it may sound stupid to some people, but there is nothing more special to me than being able to share something with someone where I know that they're gonna fucking love it as much as I do. Like, I'm getting emotional now, like, I'm gonna cry. Like, me and Lottie have been friends for a really long time. And we both have that same, like, mad love for music and the mad love to dance and to just go and, like, let loose and be ourselves and just have a f mint time, get lost in the music and really, like, I don't know, really enjoy ourselves. And um, on our way home today, she was saying how, like, she will never find the words to explain how it felt when you walked through them doors for the first time and the feeling of just like belonging and like you're a part of something and that it's bigger than you it's bigger than everything it's bigger than anyone everyone is one everyone comes together and her explaining how it made her feel was exactly how it made me feel the first time i went and knowing that I was able to share that experience with someone else and have someone else experience it. And I could see it in her eyes and I could see like, when we first went in there, she, I like, her eyes had been opened to an, like a new world. And I don't know, moments like that are so fucking precious. Like don't take them for granted. Like people, your friends are so important and being able to just share that one moment with her and that 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 night was worth like a million other shitty standard nights in a fucking local town or it's worth many a fucking shit days that I have mentally or whatever just to know that like I've experienced that with someone that I love and that she's felt it the same way I felt it and there's no other words to describe it really. Um, if you're if you're a raver, you'll know what I mean. If you're like a a festival goer, it's a very similar experience to festival. Um, it's magic, honestly. It's absolute magic. If you are someone who loves music and who loves to get lost in music and to experience things, like really experience them, not not just be there but be a part of it like you literally feel like you're a part of your surroundings and of everyone around you and that sense of like it's a sense of belonging for me it's a sense of like i'm home i'm i don't know there's nothing i don't know how else to describe it there's no other way to describe it you just feel like it's bigger than you and that's what I love it's it's an it's an out of body experience I think in some ways um it's so hard to explain like I've never known anything like Warehouse Project before ever um it's loads better now than it was before as well like the new venue is fucking insane the sound system is incredible it sounds the same from the back as it does from the front it's crisp it's so clear it's just another world like as soon as you walk through and you go through those plastic fucking you know the shutters you'll know what I mean like the plastic ah oh, it's magic and I urge anyone who is a big music fan um or yeah just anyone who loves music or loves to like lose themselves in music go at least once it's magical, it's, oh, uh, like, it's worth so much to me, like, it's worth all the money, it's worth all the, it's just worth everything, it is worth everything, it fills my heart with so much joy, just losing myself like that, it's, there's nothing else like it, I've never known it, and i to know that I've shared it with someone that I love and to know that she loved it the same way I did is is like more than anything in the world because not many people share the same um, like view on music as me and not, not as many people like experience it the same way I experience it but me and her do 
we always have done um music has always been a really massive part of our lives for both of us we're when we go out it's for the music you know it's not for anything else to get dressed up and to listen to some good music and to just lose ourselves in it and not care about anyone else and um that's what is so special about me and her nothing else matters you know like it nothing else matters magic so yeah signing this off now um I hope you enjoyed the vlog. I hope like it was fun to watch. I tried to get some really cool footage while we were there. I think I did get some good stuff. It was the funniest day. One of them stories that you know you like you'll hold close to your heart for a really long time. And one of those things that like you'll tell your kids in the future and I don't know. Feeling very emotional and very like heart felt like heart warmed and like um well there is a purpose to all of this do you know what i mean it's just special and i hope everyone gets to feel this at some point in their lives it's it's beautiful so that's it <laughs> until the next one guys